Oh, man. What? What a game. <laughs> oh, man. This, this had everything. This really had everything. Um, uh, close calls, injuries, sadly. Um, each side lost a player. We lost uh, Sam Gerard within the first minute. And then Jordan Bennington takes a spill when, when two players, one of each side, just bowls over him. So they had to use Vigley Husso. I said it said it had close calls. Uh, both sides were really close to getting one in in many times, and huh, there was a crazy moment where Basim Kadri kind of took um. There was no kind of in it. He, he he yanked that stick off Kyra. We all saw it, and he's holding it, and I'm literally screaming, "Drop the stick! Drop it!" Because if any ref saw him, that's a penalty. But um. <laughs> The refs decided to just let him play because they don't know what the hell they're doing. In the third period, that is. But anyway. So. But in the end, under all that insanity, we did it. We weathered the storm. We bounced back from that bad game two loss. Uh, it, was a it was a bad loss, too. The officiating was one-sided against us. And we played sloppily. Uh, tonight, the play is a bit better, and the refs were just doing whatever. I think on both sides, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um, we bounced again. The Blues scored first again. We have not scored first in this series. But despite this, we've been following our motto, find a way. We haven't scored first in all in this series, but after three games, we're up 2-1. to one. We bounce back from that loss. We exploded big with the offense. We even caught Huso napping. I don't know what... <laughs> Berube was so desperate to get Huso out of there because he wanted that extra attacker on there now when it was a one-goal game. But as, just as he was about to go, the, the, the Blues lost the puck. End up, and, the, and you see Rantanen... Not Ranson, uh Landis Cargo McKinnon going heading towards Huso. Who's like, oh my God, I gotta get back, get get back. He couldn't get back. <laughs> he was caught out. He was caught outside, um, way out out in front of his net. And Landis Cargo put it in a virtual empty net goal. That though that counts against him because he was a goal. He was still in technically. So um, and then Lekkinen gets the actual empty net goal. He had two. He had two uh, tonight. I think he's got four this year's playoffs. I'm so happy we got him because I know he he could be a, a, a clutch a clutch pest when you need him to be. Just ask Vegas. He's the one that scored that goal in Game Six that put the Canadians in the final. But uh, so when I learned that we got him in a trade, I was literally on cloud nine. And Kadri was kicking ass and stealing sticks. <laughs> oh my goodness! But like I said, when the dust settled. The Avalanche got the W. So, we have our series lead back. We have our series lead back. The fans the fans can relax. We can kind of relax a bit. The players, however, cannot. We still need to put the foot on the gas here because we have a good chance here. Game four is Monday. If we, if we take that same intensity, if we beat them, uh... Then we could really have a shot at ending our elite eight bugaboo over here, cause um, we don't. Well, the, we'll probably we'll probably see like updates between now and puck drop Monday night in St. Louis regarding Bennington, and we'll also see updates regarding uh, 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 Sam Gerard too. But if Bennington can't go, we may have to face Huso again. It's, it's it's weird how that's been going with St. Louis because Huso Huso been the guy because um Huso been the guy because uh, Bennington was struggling badly and then when then Huso was getting his ass kicked a bit they actually went to Bennington in that series against Minnesota and he led the way he bounced back he finally started winning games for um the first time since the cup he he held up the cup but we got him in game one we got, and he got lit up and tonight and it was Huso. So we'll see between now and Monday what's what's the situation there. But it should be interesting. But again, Avs take the game five to two. We lead the series two to one. That was the only game tonight because tomorrow 
The other three game ones all take place. It's a weird schedule, but after this, they'll be back to two, two and two each until some series are clinched. But anyway, tomorrow it's the other game threes. Game game three um, of the Atlantic series, the Battle of Florida, uh, Tampa Bay and Florida. That's in Tampa. That's early. Actually, there's a couple early games. Um, it's all on. It's all on this nice app here. Um, it's game three. It's game three. Uh, Battle for it in Tampa Bay. And that's another app, the ESPN app. Uh, ESPN app just brought up Huso being caught out of his net. But um, anyway, as I said, uh, Battle for the Game 3, that's at 10.30 a.m. for those of us in the West Coast, so we get some Sunday morning playoff hockey um, on TNT. And, uh, oh, um, Tampa's up two games to none in that series, so... <laughs> Florida, yeah, screwed. Um, and then at, at twelve thirty p at twelve thirty in the afternoon Pacific time here in the West Coast, here in the West Coast, it's the Metropolitan Series, which shifts to MSG Rangers hosting the Hurricanes. Canes are up two zero. Uh, Canes are two wins away from reaching the conference final for the first time since twenty nineteen. And um, oh, as as for Tampa, if they reach the conference final, it'll be their third straight appearance, obviously, but it'll be their fourth in their last five years. Actually, it'll be their fifth since 2015, because they were in the conference final in 15, and they beat the Rangers out. I remember that series. Um, actually, no. Actually, it'll be their sixth, because uh, I had to correct myself. It'll be their sixth, because I think um, uh, Pittsburgh beat Tampa in 2016, the conference final, to get there, en route to their cup. But yeah, so, Tampa's close to another Final Four trip. Um... As is Carolina, uh, and of course the last game at 5 p.m. Eastern. I mean 5 p.m. Pacific. I mean, it's um, it's Game Three in the Battle of Alberta. It shifts to Edmonton. That's one. That's one and one. That's one and one. Edmonton took Game Two, and um, they got the home ice now, and they'll look to kind of stick it to the Flames. That's tomorrow, and of course Monday. It's uh, Game 4 of the Florida Series again. They're playing back-to-back. -back. It's Game 4 of the Florida Series on Monday, and then after that, it's Game 4 of our series, Avs Blues, with us up 2-1. to one. So that's what's in store for us uh, in the next two days. It was a great win by the Avalanche. We, can, we fans can all chill out and relax until Monday night. But anyway, that's my recap of tonight's Game 3 in our series. If you like this video, click the like button. Click subscribe if you want more. I will be back tomorrow to recap the other three Game 3s. So stay tuned.